everyone, Miss Go Electric here. Well, today is a really special day because I'm in the Silicon Valley area at Pebble headquarters. I've been very lucky to get a first look at the Pebble Flow, which is a functioning alpha prototype. And they answered all of my questions that I had about this vehicle. And I'm very excited to be able to share that with you. Let's get into it. The Pebble Flow is an upcoming 25-foot all-electric travel trailer. It weighs 6,200 pounds and measures 7 foot 6 inches wide and 8 foot 8 inches high. Pebble claims the Flow is three times more aerodynamic than a conventional travel trailer. The clever exterior design is a part of those aerodynamic efficiencies, but there are some hidden tricks that optimize it even more. So let's start by talking about everything on the outside of this camper. What's really important is that this has active aero. So this component is actually gonna move upward up to this crease level to provide better aerodynamic profile because there's gonna be a lot of air coming around your vehicle and then out the back. So to reduce that drag, that's a really nice feature. You might be wondering why this is not permanently in an upright position that moves up to that crease. And that is because you have better visibility. There's a window right here, so you'll be able to see in and out when you do have this parked at a camp spot. Underneath this shell is a heat pump. I'm happy to see this because it is gonna provide more efficient heating and cooling than resistive electric heat or air conditioning hardware, which typically sticks out of the rooftop or nose. Four leveling stabilizers will deploy and retract electronically. This is part of Pebble's Instacamp feature, which includes retracting the awning, stairs, leveling stabilizers, and engaging the electric parking brakes to set up camp or get back on the road in seconds. No more wheel chocks needed. This prototype did not have an awning, but the Pebble team told me the production version would have one. Beyond this access panel is a storage tunnel spanning the entire width of the trailer. It was locked in the prototype, but I can see how this could be very useful for skis or fishing poles. All right, the next defining feature of this vehicle has to be the powertrain, and there are a few reasons for that. For one, not only is this gonna be able to help be propelled behind a vehicle, so that will help reduce range loss, but this will also be able to be moved remotely. And what I mean by that is that if you want to put this in a parking situation, but then have the ability to move it all the way around in a 360 fashion, this is going to be able to do that without having a vehicle attached. Owners can remotely control the vehicle through the Pebble app, which takes the frustration out of hitching the trailer. I think this feature will be awesome for EV drivers who need to disconnect the Pebble Flow in order to access DC fast charging stations. Pull through EV charging is still very uncommon. The tires are designed to strike the balance between low rolling resistance and effective grip for all weather and terrain. The aero caps optimize aerodynamic efficiency. The powertrain consists of two motors and Unfortunately, we couldn't get an answer quite yet about what type of motor it is. Of course, electric, but is it in wheel? We're unsure. The battery is 45 kilowatt hours and it's a lithium iron phosphate chemistry. Now, although that chemistry is not as energy dense, they are typically safer and what you usually find in a home energy storage solution. The electric travel trailer supports level one, two, and DC fast charging. It can also receive energy from the sun thanks to 1000 watts of roof mounted solar panels. Pebble will not confirm if they will use the NACs or CCS connectors or comment on charging speeds. The Pebble has a NEMA 1450 port, which will even allow EVs to charge up. The company says owners will be able to live off-grid in the Pebble Flow for up to seven days. The Pebble Flow will have bi-directional charging, so you can use the travel trailer as an emergency power backup for your home. Camping trailers sit parked in your driveway when you're not using them, so it's great to see Pebble incorporate this technology so owners can get more value out of this expensive battery pack. That functionality should also qualify the Pebble for additional incentives similar to the Tesla Powerwall. Let's make our way inside the Pebble Flow. Obviously, it's really nice to be able to experience nature while you're indoors, but I also think it's a cool little trick that you can move this faucet around, so if you do need to access any water, it's very easy to. Another very unique element of this kitchen here is that there's a built-in stovetop, but this actually can be removed 
from this countertop area so that you could take it outside if you want to decide to cook out there. There's more cooking to be had over here on this wall and that's because there's this microwave that is also a convection oven that is also an air fryer. So pretty much any kind of cooking you wanna get done, you can do it between these two devices. And then underneath that is going to be this refrigerator here, which is nicely stored amongst these panels. Very discreet. Through this kitchen space, you also have storage everywhere. And right here are the handles that will pop out. This reminds me a lot of an aircraft where you have overhead storage. Um, and it seems like they have a lot of it in this vehicle, which if you are gonna be traveling for extended periods of time, you gotta be able to put things places. There's also a lot of storage here where you'll be able to hang up clothing items. And there are two more underneath. The team at Pebble have said that the one on the very bottom, since it's deep and it is really low, they might even have a feature where they have a rolling cart out here so that you can have easier access to it. This style of the handle is really helpful in these lower cabinet areas as well because you don't want a lot of things to be able to catch on here or if you have kids or dogs or anything like that, you wanna be able to have those flush so they don't pop open. Or even when you're moving and traveling, you don't want those cabinets to open easily. This is really spacious back here. And right now you can see this is a working surface. So you can set up your laptop, get your full day of work done. As a digital nomad, I see this being a really great application, but this space transform. So let me show you that. Voila, now you have a queen bed here. The Murphy bed desk remains level so a laptop can be stored there all of the time. There is also a skylight above the bed which is ideal for stargazing and adds natural light to the space. This space here feels nice and big but I love the fact that there's a window here so you can still see outside when you're in this living space. The materials feel very modern, not too luxurious because I feel as if I could clean them up really easily and they seem durable, but also this lighting. I love to see these LED strip lights all the way around. It just really elevates the experience. But this space actually transforms as well. These two cushions right here can be placed on top of this table and this table can push all the way down to be level with this surface and that way I can use this as another bed. I appreciate that the sleeping quarters are at the opposite ends of the trailer. The bathroom has a shower, toilet, and sink, all enclosed in this glass room. The Pebble Flow has a 37 gallon fresh tank and a combined gray and black tank with a capacity of 50 gallons. This can deliver hot water as well. And don't worry, the glass is electrochromatic. With the push of a button, the glass becomes opaque for privacy while using this space. This screen here is one of the ways that you can interface with the vehicle's smart systems. The Pebble app allows owners to monitor the state of charge and various tanks. It also allows remote operation of climate control and lighting. It also enables for activation of features like Instacamp, Magic Hitch, and remote maneuvering. Just like any modern app or device, the developers intend to improve existing features and release new ones regularly. The app will launch initially on iOS devices, but Android compatibility is planned. Good thing too, because I'm Team Pixel. The Flow is also plug and play ready for high speed Starlink satellite internet or mobile data connectivity. And you know, my dog Liz would really love this. Pre-orders are open now for the Pebble Flow with a $500 refundable deposit. There will be two options to start, a $109,000 version, which includes the 45 kilowatt hour battery pack, and a $125,000 version, which includes the dual motors and the magic pack with all the remote control features. The company's goal for first deliveries is late 2024, initially for US buyers only. Well, we have spent a lot of time here at Pebble HQ and learned a lot pretty much the whole afternoon. So thank you so much, Bing Ray, for allowing us to take up so much of your time. It seems to me that with your background coming from big companies, you kind of maybe had it made in that type of situation. So what inspired you to go off on your own to create Pebble? Um, I'm a bit of an RVer myself as well. And I have learned that 
RVing is uh, is complicated. Uh, it comes with all kinds of different hassles. But once you strip away all these, the rest of it is just so beautiful. You know, you get the freedom to have a home whenever you want to be, right? A home that can be anywhere you want. I spent almost 10 years at Apple. Uh, that time as um, I was leading uh, iPhone development. So that time has really taught me um, how to really build a product that not only is beautiful, but also uh, it just works and it's so easy to use and people love and we bring surprise and delight to people. So uh, when I first set on this mission to build Pebble, it's really, really important to me that uh, we build this into a product, not only it's beautiful, um, but also it really give people that kind of experience that uh, it just works. You give people that kind of surprise and delight that you enable people to do things that they were not able to do before, live the life in a better way. So that has really just kept me going, you know, and obviously running um, a company and building a company is hard, right? But we all, not just me, but the entire Pebble team all very much share the same vision in our own way to build this into a better product that many, many people and family can enjoy. There are a few other companies out there that are attempting to go down this path as well. So what would you say that your product, the Pebble Flow, is going to introduce to the market that is a little bit different from everyone else? Really what sets Pebble apart is about the ease of use and the experience, right? Aside from the electrification, aside from the design that's like so different than pretty much most of the product out there, it's really the ease that we haven't seen anywhere uh, and I think that's something that customer really need after and, and really desire after being just stuck with the same hassle over and over or RVing uh, you guys RV you know all the pain points that we're we're automating we're solving right we're really passionate about uh, using tech but the most advanced automotive technologies and solve all these real RV hassles that people have today and really streamline that experience not only for people who RV all the time that already know how to do this but doesn't want to do it over and over and the people who are sort of on the sideline really interested in RVing right but they just haven't really uh, overcome the uh, uh, the barrier uh, of like how to do this and how to do that like parking and hitching is some of the problems that you know uh, we're solving right so it really comes down to that now i really love the size of this and i love the design the aesthetic that you've chosen to go in this direction and i've seen quite a few competitors that have a nice aesthetic as well but it is really hard to get to production so can you talk about the path to manufacturing this so first of all um we're building a towable product right the level of complexity uh, required to build this is uh, quite a bit less compared to a passenger vehicle, right? Which normally will take much longer, requires a lot more capital to take it to market, right? And so, regulations. And regulations yeah. and all that. So uh, that said, we want to really set the standard uh, in an RV as well and really bring in a lot of these automotive uh, suppliers and automotive uh, technique and engineering processes into building this like the best product ever. Uh, one thing that's really uh, to our advantage is this is the right timing because if you look at electrifications right it has really proliferated uh across the bra and uh, so much of it uh, the supply chain and the components have been well developed batteries motor all of these are already there right we don't have to re-engineer the wheel per se right okay. so that's really a key advantage so with all of these combined together so we're fairly confident that we're able to bring this product um, to production by end of 2024. And you personally have seen what goes into manufacturing a product with your previous experience, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, I have spent more than a decade um, shipping power over and over. Um, um, my, uh, I spent almost 10 years at Apple. Uh, um ship more than a billion iphones so that was a lot, That's a lot and yeah. after that i'm like okay i'm done with iphone for my life i want to move on to something else that is yeah. scale that's for sure yeah yeah so apple has really taught me a lot in terms of how to build power how to design it how to manufacture it and how to produce it at scale and how to translate uh that cost to your customers. Now, I feel super lucky to have had the chance to see this before pretty much anybody else, but I'm sure 
the whole world is going to want to see this. So what is an opportunity where people are going to actually be able to see the pebble flow in real life? So this is awesome. So we're actually going to a LA Auto Show this year. Very cool. So uh, as a public, you can see the pebble in its full glory from November 17 to 26. Exciting. And will they be able to get inside the vehicle and walk around or are they just going to be able to see it from the outside? Absolutely. You will be able to get the full tour of the Pebble Flow. Very cool. Yeah. Well, thank you for spending so much yeah. time with us today. Yeah. We really appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for watching this latest video. Well, until next time, drive, fly, ride. Go electric.